Hi, my name is Robin Wong. I'm a photographer based in Kompor, Malaysia. In this video, I want to talk about why 85 millimeters is my favorite focal length for shooting portraits. Let's do this. Let me start by saying that there is no right and wrong when it comes to lens choices. It is very personal, different focal lengths will give you different results, different outcome and perspective when you're shooting people in your photographs. When I'm shooting with my Olympus gear, my favorite lens has always been the Olympus 45 f1.8. That lens has been my bread and butter, shooting people for my professional jobs as well as for my personal projects over the years. The equivalent focal length is about 90 millimeters. That's very close to 85. That's why I want to share why 85 millimeters works for me for shooting portraits in this video. I have just recently purchased the Yongno 85mm f1.8 lens for my Canon 5D full frame. Before we go further, I want to share some shots taken from that 85mm lens. Special shout out to Wendy, the amazing model for my portrait photographs. Thank you so much, Wendy. You did such a fantastic job. Coming back to the reasons why I love 85 millimeters for my portrait photography. Reason number one, managing distortions. When you use a wide angle or focal length that's too wide, say 50 millimeters or 35 millimeters or even all the other wide angle, say 24, 28, you will have some distortion in the images. I'm sure you've encountered when you take a photograph, the head of the person appears larger than the body, or it's not proportional, it looks too large, not natural, or the nose appears too large on the face, the facial features, they're not proportionate, or the limbs are being stretched, you have the fat hands, or the legs appearing too short, all the proportions are out of place if you use too wide of an angle. That's why you need longer focal lengths, say 85 millimeters or longer, to manage these distortions so that all the limbs in the body, they will appear proportionate, looking natural and flattering. I find 85 millimeters works just fine for half body portraits or even full body portraits. Reason number two, background compression. When you use a longer lens, such as a medium telephoto lens, such as 85 millimeters, you'll be able to compress the background, meaning you fit less background into the photograph. When you have less background to deal with, it is so much easier to compose and create a cleaner result. You don't want too much distraction or too much mess or too many elements in the background, which will be distracting. And for portraits, you want the viewer's attention straight into the person that you're photographing. You just don't want too many things happening at the back, the less you deal with, the better. I find 85 millimeters lens allows you to compress the background and get much cleaner results. Reason number three, shallow depth of field. It is so much easier to render blur background, isolating the person you're shooting from the background when you're using a longer lens plus a bright aperture lens. 85 millimeters, it is a medium telephoto with f1.8 wide aperture. It is so much easier to create a background blur. 
This is very, very effective. If you're shooting against a background that may not work with you, you just want to blur it off. You want as much blur as possible using a long lens, using bright aperture, that's the trick. And I find 85 millimeters give me just enough background blur to work with, either if I'm shooting with my Olympus gear or now using the full frame, I get even more blur. Reason number four, working distance. This is the very important one. I've just mentioned in the first three reasons that the longer the lens, the better. You can compress the background better, you have less background to deal with, you can blur off the background more effectively, you can manage distortion, creating a more natural and flattering look. The head and the body limbs appearing looking natural. If that's true, why don't we just use longer lenses? 100, 150, 200, or even 600 millimeters lens. Now, here's the thing. Any portrait photographer will tell you this consistently. The key to a great portrait photograph is communication. You, as a photographer, need to communicate and interact with the person you're shooting with. You need to direct the poses, you need to share your vision, and the person you're shooting with needs to be able to listen to you or hear you effectively. The longer the lens, the further away you have to stand from the person you're shooting with, right? And if you're standing too far away, you have to shout. The person may not be able to hear what you say clearly, and you may need to use walkie-talkie. That's just disruptive for communication. Communication is what will break or make your portrait photograph. So ensuring you have effective communication is key to any portrait photography session. Therefore, you can't be standing too far away. I find it 85 millimeters, it strikes the perfect balance between giving you the telephoto look, you can manage the background effectively, you can get super blur background, the bokeh, yet you have flattering, managing distortion, all the limbs and body appearing, looking natural and flattering, looking proportionate. At the same time, you are still standing quite close to the subject at a very comfortable walking distance. The Yongnuo 85 f1.8 lens used in a very good condition at a very good price. It was about half of retail. I thought that's a fantastic deal. There is nothing to write home about when it comes to the Yongnuo 85. I bought this cheap lens. I did not want to spend too much money on it because the Canon 5D is a very old camera, the full frame camera. It is not my main workhorse. For my main photography jobs, I have my Olympus OMD system. So there's no point spending too much money on something that I will not be using to earn money, right? It's just for fun. So this cheap Yono 85 millimeters, I think it works. Like I said, there's nothing to write home about. There's nothing to shout about. It is a cheap lens. It does give very good results. It is quite sharp, wide open, though it is not super excellent in sharpness. It is okay. Uh, contrast is a little bit lacking, especially if there's stray lights coming in, you get very poor contrast. There are some technical flaws. I'm sure there's a little bit of distortion, chromatic aberration, and all the other issues that comes with a cheap lens. But to me, it doesn't really matter. I'm using a 12 megapixels dinosaur camera. The Canon 5D was from 15, 17 years ago. And I don't need the best lens today. And I'm not gonna make a review for the Yongno 85. There are already so many reviews out there. And I don't have the right camera body to make review, right? And I don't think that you should be getting the Yono 85. There are other better options out there, unless you just want something budget and you know what you're getting into. You, you don't mind the flaws. You don't mind that you're not producing the best result. Then I think the Yono 85 millimeters f1.8, to me, it works.
that's all I have to share about my reasons why I love 85mm focal length for portrait photography. Do you agree with me? Do you use the 85mm lens for portraits or you have other lenses that you use for your portrait photography? Please share your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. If you've enjoyed looking at my photographs or if you've benefited from my sharing, please consider buying me a cup of coffee or you can contribute directly to my PayPal. Links in the description below on how you can do that. Any small contribution goes a long way. It will help me to continue making videos and publish them right here. Here. Please give me a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe. I'll definitely see you in the next video. Until then, please remember to go out and take more photographs. Bye-bye.